I think a lot of people think of Amityville horror. There you go. Things, you know, homes built on yeah. Indian burial grounds and yeah. what have you. Yeah. If the sofa starts talking to me, I'm probably not buying that house. I'm just not doing it. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Steve, I want to talk to you uh, first about a few things. Uh, stigmatized properties. Let's talk about that first. What, first of all, what's a stigmatized property? Is that, is that a property that saw a ghost? What is that? Well, it, it, it could be. Um, <laughs> I think generally speaking, uh, real estate people think of it in terms of maybe something that happened on the property, to the property, or uh, something like that. Okay. I think a lot of people think of Amityville horror. There you go. Things, you know, homes built on yeah. Indian burial grounds and yeah. what have you. Yeah. If the sofa starts talking to me, I'm probably not buying that house. I'm just not doing it. When we're dealing with stigmatized properties, in Nevada, what level of disclosure do we have here with regard to stigmatized properties? It depends on uh, who you ask, actually. Oh, okay. Um, because some people uh, say that uh, you don't have to disclose certain things, and I can tell you what those things are in the statute. There is there is a body of law on this. Right. But it, it really just talks about things that the state of Nevada has deemed to be not material to the transaction. In other words, uh, a seller doesn't have an affirmative obligation to disclose uh, certain things, right. uh, nor do the agents, the buyer's agent, listing agent, etc., mm-hmm. um, don't have to disclose certain things. It depends on your source of no? information. Okay. Uh, the Nevada Law and Reference Guide, and Melody Lucathons, she wrote that, and uh, she would tell you that uh, you could a uh, listing agent couldn't disclose those things that are listed unless they had written authorization from the seller to do so. However, there's another opinion on the same real estate division's website that I think contradicts that. And it goes to what you're talking about. If they ask, I got to tell. Well, that's under the the same real estate division website, Mm -hmm. under the compliance link, Uh there's an FAQ and somebody had asked, (laughs) what do I do if I'm asked if somebody, you know, died, was murdered, committed suicide? And that source says nothing about getting written authorization. It says you must be honest. You cannot mislead or misinform. You, you can't tell the truth. I was under the impression that you, you only had to disclose it if the house itself caused the death. Well, that's true. If the if the property caused uh, the death, and that, that, becomes, that language in there. So right. it was a, just any type of a death, you wouldn't have to disclose. Gotcha. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. 